Hello, my name is Joachim. I'm the founder of Sam Labs, and I want to tell you a bit more about the origin story of Sam Labs. So I'm a mechanical engineer. I studied mechanical engineering at Imperial College London. It's the equivalent of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, so MIT, in Europe. And while I was studying, I realized very early that engineering was much more creative than we have originally thought. And it could be made even more creative if we put in the aspect of collaboration, which is why I started creating collaborations between the Royal College of Arts, which is a famous design school and innovation school close by, and Imperial College London. The Royal College of Art has got courses like innovation design engineering, global innovation design, and it was amazing to collaborate so that engineers who are technically minded could start becoming more creative and designers who may not have engineering skills could work with engineers. That actually got me, this work that I did uh, got me a, a scholarship to go to Tokyo and to go to the Tokyo Institute of Technology in Japan, where I would start a PhD on innovation engineering um, and started to work on innovative spaces. And I realized there very quickly that the challenges that Japan was facing in terms of the skills shortage, both you know, for engineers, but also for most of the population, was the same as what I'd observed in the UK and in Europe, and also had observed during an internship over uh, the summer of 2011 in the US. And that's when I decided to start SAM Labs. I realized that there was a lot that we could do with fun experiences in engineering and democratizing the access with the right uh, background and, and context. And I wanted to simplify um, that. And that's why you will see in SAM Labs that everything always works on the screen. You never get an error message. Where when you take a SAM Labs button and you press it, you will see it being pressed on the interface. It's to give that direct sense of feedback. And although there's something quite com complex that's happening, quite sophisticated, you never feel that it's complex or sophisticated. You just feel that it's fun. You know, you're pressing on a button. It's a Boolean value that's wirelessly transmitted to your screen. And you've got a visual presentation of that. It's an input. And you're dealing with a variable. If you get a, a slider and you uh, play with a slider, you will see the number on your screen change. So you get a direct feedback about what the number is and the representation of the position of the slider. You can connect it to a motor, to uh, an LED, and things just work immediately. That's important for me because I've seen that if people drop off at the beginning of experiences with engineering, if you give people an Arduino, they will typically try a few things, but the wires won't quite fit in the right way, or there will be a bug in the code, or they just won't be able to plug in the right comms or select the right comms and the parameters. These are all opportunities where we lose people who might not have the resilience yet to just go through the process. And the longer you give them a positive experience where everything works, the more energy and trust you give them that if something then goes that's not according to plan, well, they know that broadly it works and they will be able to circumvent it and find a solution. This is also why in every single one of the SAM Labs lessons, you will find a bug uh, and a debugging opportunity. And the debug debugging opportunity is important to me because most of our jobs as engineers and definitely software engineers is debugging. You write something, it doesn't quite work, and so you need to debug. You need to have the resilience, the mindset of understanding, okay, this is not quite working. Let me find out why and how to repair it rather than just giving up, which you might do if you've had too many of these difficult experiences at the beginning, or you might not realize why it's worthwhile to continue on trying. The last thing I want to mention, that's pretty much it actually. Well, no, oh yeah, and I started working on Sam Labs in London uh, because I, well, I flew I flew back from Japan to Brussels, where I'm from, and then I flew to uh, the UK. And a friend of mine was doing his PhD in uh, during the day, and I could use his uh, during the night, and I could use his desk during the day. So I was prototyping in the Imperial College labs, and uh, the Imperial College staff very kindly gave me a, a pass as if I was a, a non-instructional uh, staff um, there, and I could work from there, which was amazing. And I started doing early prototypes of Sam Labs and working with clients.